Hello everyone, uh, this is Faisal Ahmed, your trainer for your entire series CCNA. So we are gonna learn today how to configure EIZRP in Packet Tracer. So here is 2911 model router. We are, I'm gonna take two of them. Now I'm gonna connect this router together by a serial, I'm sorry, the Ethernet connector. Now I'm gonna configure this router here is the CLI mode no we don't want to configure automatically this is the user mode now I'm entering into the privilege mode by typing enable you can press tab though for complete the command this is the privilege mode where we can configure or where we can monitor and maintenance a lot of things like we can <coughs> show run by typing show run it's actually show running config we can see what we configure earlier here we cannot configure anything we need to go to the configuration mode i mean the global configuration mode by typing cons configure terminal or you can type conf t in short so we need to go to interface mode by typing int uh, that means interface g g for gigabyte 0 by 0 and enter then we need to assign an ip address like ip add 192.168.10.1 then we need to put subnet mask then we need to up this port by putting the command no shutdown now the connection is up here you can see this change state to up now i'm exiting from this configuration now we can configure router eizrp which is cisco proprietary then we are i'm going to put an S autonomous system number I'm putting 100 over here then we need to define network 192.168.10.0 and we need to put the exact subnet mask on or else we can put 000 as well for the testing purpose now we need to put no auto summary router by default will summarize your um, network but we don't need that at this moment let's put no auto summary exit let's do same thing over here no we don't want enable conf t then int gig 0 by 0 RP address 192 I'm sorry 255.255.255.0 the subnet mask then no shutdown exit now I'm going to configure EIZRP by putting remember there you should put the same autonomous system number in both link I mean both router then otherwise the you have to do the redistribution otherwise the protocol will not work for you okay let's put in to the network command 192.168.10.0 255.255.255.0 no auto summary see the both router can establish the neighbor adjacency by sending a hello packet over to gigabyte link here okay now they have the neighborship adjacency let's test it do ping 
192.168.10.1 we are putting do in front of ping if we want to run any any privileged mode command then you have into configuration mode then we have to put do in front of that command okay let's test it oh my god I'm getting the it's actually reaching from this router to this router okay so by pressing this this is uh, we can configure EIGRP the Cisco proprietary administrative distance is 90 for internal and administrative distance is 170 for external route so this is the testing purpose I'm just uh, making a testing video so that uh, I'm not prepared for this and one of my friend asked for this that's why I'm making this video and he knows he knows better than me so we don't need to explain a lot of things because he is better than me smarter than me so this is it thank you for viewing my video my testing video it might be removed from my channel within two three days because it's a testing video thank you for watching if you like please do subscribe my channel thank you